upstate New York. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here as it'll be the Seattle Seahawks taking on the Buffalo Bills. And we are underway in Buffalo. And no run back on the opening kickoff. It'll come out to the 25. Here's Walker to start the drive. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Sticking with Walker on second down. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First down Seattle on a pickup of 13. They'll fake the handoff. Now Smith steps away. Oh, it's out. Smith lost it. And his crew will take over with a football at the 35-yard line. And the defense has come up with it. And without a doubt, not the way they pictured that opening drive unfolding. No, they were making progress. They weren't exactly in high gear, but they, they were making a few yards along the way. And now that they... Look at this! Middle of the field, a breakaway! And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. James Cook, 35 yards. And the Bills use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. Come into the line here to begin their next drive. The Seahawks offense. They had to fumble on the last drive. Wound up leading to the opening touchdown. Now they'll try again here. First and ten. Sliding out of the pocket. No chance to get away there for Smith as he goes down. Leonard Floyd. Now two sacks for him already here in this first quarter of play. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Smith now to throw. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. Down the left sideline. Touchdown. D.K. Metcalf, 83 yards. And the Seahawks are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. 
And there he went quite a ways just to catch that ball. He started out lined up out to the right, caught it on the left side of the field. So what does that tell us? That there was tremendous protection on that play. Because that's not going to happen very fast to be able to cross all the way from one side of the field to the other. Great job by the offensive line, keeping him upright and plenty of time to find him downfield. And boy, they did it successfully. And this play is not going to work. He stopped short of the goal line, and this will remain a 7-6 ball game. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. And he's going to have a Bills first down as the tackle made it about the 43-yard line. Allen now looks to throw. That'll be complete to Cook. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. Here's a second and eight. Allen. And this throw incomplete. Now the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. I think that's how this defense is going to need to play these tight ends. Again, get right up on them and stay physical. And that paid off on that play, helping force that incompletion. And that will be incomplete. Now that's a good bounce back after giving up a touchdown on the opening drive. Just one first down permitted and then out. Obviously no loss of confidence with that defense. And now they get to turn it back to their offense. So here we go. The offense is going to stay out there. They're going for it on fourth and eight. They do go for it. Here's Allen. Got it complete to Khalil Shakir. And unable to break away. They stop him a few yards shy. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And that will force a turnover on downs. Walker now on first and ten. Up to make the play defensively, Tredavious White. Ball placed at the 45 for second and five. Sticking with Walker on second down. The 20. Down to the 10. And all the way in. Touchdown, Seattle. Kenneth Walker, 45 yards. And the Seahawks have taken the lead. Pete Carroll in that familiar hands-on-knees pose. His guys will go for two here. Gino's going to throw. Eluding the pressure right. And this will be caught as they convert here for two. And I guess that makes up for the earlier missed two-point try here to get him to 14. Yeah, that aggressiveness reminds me a lot of when basketball first adopted the three-point shot. And people were starting to realize that three for two was really starting to work for them. In this case now, maybe the two for one is coming into play in the NFL. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Here's Allen on first and ten. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. And meanwhile, Allen's throw going to be caught by Davis. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Allen now on first down. And bringing it in, it's Davis. And he's brought down. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 43. 
From the pistol, they run it with Cook. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Credit the tackle there to Uchenna Nuwosu. Through one corner, 14-7, our score. Second quarter now in Buffalo. It's the Bills in control of the football as they are looking at a second down and six coming up. Allen going to throw. And the Seahawks defense gets to him, and they bring him down. Uchenna and Wosu got the sack there. They've gobbled up over 30 yards of turf so far, but a sack knocks them backwards. And that interrupts the momentum they were building. Good opportunity for the defense to escape this drive before they get to the end zone. Going deep for Diggs. Oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Reek Woolen. And the Seahawks are going to have it here at their own 32-yard line. And I think this is a situation where a quarterback coach in the sideline is going to talk to a signal caller and say, listen, it's third and long, and it's still early in the game. Let's not force things here. If we don't feel good about it, let's just check something down and pump the football. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. On second down, it's Walker. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. 89 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here in this first half. Back to Walker on first down. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Play action. It's Smith. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. End zone caught. Touchdown, Seattle. DK Metcalf. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Seahawks have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Well, only the two catches for him thus far, CD, but both of them have resulted in touchdowns. And I think he's on the bench right now, Brandon, smiling at his position coach and telling him, all those times you talked to us about efficiency, I'm living it right now. And now Smith going to change the play. They're going to keep it on the ground. And he's going to go down right at the line of scrimmage. The defense left him with nowhere to go. And the try for two is denied. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive in particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to want to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. down Allen he's got it complete to Stephon Diggs and he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard throwing now is Allen 
and this is incomplete. Well, this is a half where not just the coverage, but the entire defense is setting the tone in this game. Heavy set out there on third and one. And they'll let their fullback try and push the pile. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. There you go, partner. That's some old school football right there. You need one yard? Give it to your bruiser fullback and let him get the job done. Throwing on first down is Allen. Buying time to his left. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm. Incomplete. Now it's third down. Well, this defense is going to have to finish the job. There's still a second half that they have to play. But so far, an absolute total effort. They've disrupted the passing game, stressed the pocket for the quarterback. They forced him into errant throws. Everything they're doing has been executed well. Here's a diving catch right side. That'll go for a gain of seven. And that's going to make it fourth down. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as he'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. So they'll say no to the 50-yard field goal try. Instead, the offense out there, they're going for it. Has his man, it's Shakir. And down he goes, but the stiff arm utilized effectively there, and it helps him move the sticks. To throw, it's Allen. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Allen looks to throw on second down. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. What would look like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. And how about this? Fourth and long, and they're going to go for it. To the air, Allen. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. And the Seahawks are going to take over at their own 28-yard line. Second straight drive now here, Charles, that have ended with an interception. And I just wonder, because I don't think it's going to rattle him necessarily, I also wonder if it's going to unnerve him a little bit. Does it lead to another one? Or does he find a way to pull it together and become sharp again? After the interception, here's Smith. Left side, he finds Smith and Jigba. There he goes, left side. A big play there just before halftime. And even 60 yards. Now the Seahawks forced to use their third and final timeout as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. Now Gino on first down. They'll roll him out right. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. And here you're down in the red zone. You need to be smart, not force anything. So that's a wise decision to just get rid of the football. The final shot here before break. Smith. And it's intercepted at the goal line. 
And he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. The Bills trail here, but they will get the football first as we are back underway on EA Sports. And that one bounces out of the back of the end zone, so we'll start the drive at the 25 on the touchback. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going. And Allen going to be intercepted for the third time. Picked up by Trey Brown. And he is not quite going to make it all the way in. They'll mark him down right about the one-yard line. But that one is going to sting. First play of the third quarter and a turnover. And you have to know that at halftime, they spent a lot of time going through their checklist of what they wanted to accomplish to start this third quarter. Turning it over like this was not on that list. Not at all. You, it, and he's across the chalk into the end zone. Touchdown, Seahawks. Ken Walker, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Seahawks are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Sometimes offenses can get too cute down near the goal line, but there's nothing fancy about this one. As Coach Lombardi would say, we get a seal here, and we get a seal here, and we run this play in the alley. And that's good work to hit the hole hard and finish in the end zone. A toss running left. Walker. And he is into the end zone again as he scores both the touchdown and the two-point conversion to extend this lead. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, there he goes right side. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Cook up the gut. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. Here's Allen to throw it. He's got his target. It's the tight end, Knox. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Play action. Now it's Allen. And he's got his tight end Knox for a Bills touchdown. An 11-yard touchdown. And the Bills are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. And he is a reliable target. They like to get him involved. They got him involved there for the score. And they should. He's a very good player. Remember, they can use him in certain positions, so many different spots, and he usually comes through for them. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And that cuts the lead to 28-14. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25.
Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. Their lead down from 21 to 14, but still sitting in a great spot, up two scores here in the third quarter. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Sticking with Walker on second down. And he'll get about three up close to the 35. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. They'll try for the first with Walker. There he goes again. Inside the 10 and all the way in. Touchdown, Seattle! Kenneth Walker, 65 yards. And the Seahawks have moved out in front by three touchdowns. We see this a lot on third and short yardage, especially down here in the red zone. They're going to sell out to stop the run, try and hold them to a field goal. But once the running back gets past the first wave, the resistance can evaporate after that. And he not only picks up the first, but he takes it all the way into the end zone. Here's Smith looking to throw. And he's got it. So the try for two successful. And that bumps their lead up even further. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Well, this has been a tough one for them, Charles. They've struggled really on both sides of the football. And one thing that's really plagued them, the turnovers. They've had issues keeping the football in their possession. And every game that's ever been played, <laughs> all coaches talk about taking care of the football and limiting turnovers. And in this one, after we saw that first turnover, we worried that things would snowball. And it certainly did, especially on the scoreboard. Well, they're in some hot water now. After that sack, it's second and 21. Here's Allen. He'll find Gabriel Davis. So the completion gets him just a yard. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. Now Allen. Shakir hauls it in. And he's going to be brought down right there. So nothing after the catch as he's dropped at the 42. Allen going to go on fourth down. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have the Bills first down by a couple of yards, it would appear, as they're able to convert on fourth and five. Now Allen. That's brought in by Davis over the middle. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Allen to throw once more. Right back to Davis. It's complete. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. A little risky there when you roll out of that pocket right like he did. You complete the pass, but you don't get anything out of it. But how many times have we seen when a quarterback exits out of the pocket, doesn't matter if they go left or right, the defense loses its leverage, right? They, there's a little chaos back there. And, and received that happen and held it to no gain. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. Allen will try again on second down. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Quadre Diggs. And the Seahawks force the turnover 
They'll take over at their own 27. Well, offensively, Charles, hard to put a silver lining on this one. No secret that they had to take chances with a score where it is, and it leads to a turnover. I love how you paint the picture, partner, because you're exactly right about that one. Look at the empty stairs on that sideline. This is one of those games we just want to go crawl under a rock until it's over. And not a whole lot there. Maybe a yard to the 27. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. He'll buy some time right. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. Straight ahead, Walker to the 43, second down. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. And they'll come up second and seven. Walker with another carry. And this one not going anywhere. They get him at the 44 for a gain of just a yard. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Third down and six. Lock it in motion right. They'll go with a touch pass here, trying to pick it up. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. And we are inside of two minutes left in this lopsided affair. So it's Seahawk football as we march toward a conclusion. They've got a fourth down here in a game that looks to have been decided already. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. They'll run for it. It's Walker. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. Up the middle, here's Walker. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Second and seven. Smith going to throw it. That's to the tight end, Colby Parkinson. It's a big play there for Seattle. And even 40 yards. Boy, another big play late here for an offense, Charles. It certainly has had its fair share of big plays. Coverage has been a problem all game long. And I would say that going along with that has been confidence. Because even if they had the right coverage, they've still dented them. And now it's been a real issue for them during this game. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Well, fourth quarter with a three-score lead here, Charles, but they're still going back to the air and looking for more points. Well, with this game well in hand, it's an opportunity for the guys to come off the bench and get a chance to play. And a lot of coaches, they want to run their full. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. Ken Walker taking it in from two yards out. And the Seahawks have opened up a four-touchdown lead here in the fourth. They'll look to throw. And this is going to be caught. So add two more to the lead as they continue to pour it on here in the fourth. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away.
And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. So the victory here for Seattle, and you and I, we just looked at each other and <laughs> kind of had the same thought. I don't think that we saw this result coming. If they were going to win, maybe at home, but not here on the road. No, not at all. We thought that at the end, you know, the strength would win out. And that didn't happen. But let's give them credit. Went on the road without being intimidated. Went on the road with not just belief, but a strong belief that they could pull it off and took advantage of every opportunity in this one. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say so long from Buffalo.